Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I wanna talk all about setting your precedence when you're using aggregations in Power BI. All right, so we've been talking about aggregations a lot, and I just wanna kind of wrap this up with a video on setting precedence because precedence is so important, especially when you have multiple aggregations in your model, all right? So you guys know what I like to do. Instead of all this talking, let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. So let's just, let's say you design this report and it's got some stuff from product and it's got some stuff from your date and you have two different aggregations. You have a aggregation, you have one aggregation that just goes down to the date grain then you have another one that goes down to the product grain. And if you go even further and take a look at the row counts on these tables, the aggregate that's based on product has 4 million rows. And the one that's based on date has only 4,000 rows, right? So if I go and let's turn on performance analyzer, I wanna show you something. So if I turn on performance analyzer and click start recording, and let's just refresh this element right here. It already has a value that's mapped to an aggregate and then it has some uh, the month in it. So let's go ahead and refresh this. And I'm gonna copy this query. And then I'm gonna head over to my favorite tool, DAX Studio. I like it so much. So we'll get DAX Studio open and connect it to my model. Here's DAX Studio. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on server timings and I'm gonna run this. Let's take a run. And run it, we're gonna clear the cache. And then I'm gonna go over to server timings. And what you'll see is that it took about 21 milliseconds total, right? Um, it's been 63 milliseconds of storage engine. You can see the breakdowns, right? If I click here, I'll go and see which aggregate hit. Hmm, it hit the date and product aggregate that has 4 million rows in it when I only really needed to hit the date aggregate. So how can I force it to do that? Well. That's where precedence come in. So let me show you how to set it. So if we head back over to Power BI Desktop, go over to the model view, and then I'm gonna go to my aggregate that's down to the date level and choose Manage Aggregations. By default, when you configure your aggregations, the precedence is set to zero. I'm gonna set this one a little higher. By setting this number a little higher, it's gonna tell Power BI, check this one first. See, can you use this aggregate first? If you can, use it. And if not, go on to the next one based on the precedence number, right? I'm gonna leave the other one, the one that's product and date, I'll leave it at zero. So it'll go check this one first and then go to that one second. So we'll go back over to DAX Studio. Remember these timings, right? Remember the timings. Let's go ahead and run this again. Let's be fair and clear the cache. Only four milliseconds, no time spent on the storage engine for the CPU. And now it's just hitting the date. Just that simple by setting precedence, right? But now you may be thinking, Patrick, what if something comes through that needs product? What's gonna happen? Well, let me show you. So if I modify this query just a little bit, we'll modify just a little bit to include the column from the product, right? We'll use color names, just that simple. And we'll go ahead and run this. Let's run this. Let's see what happens. Does Power BI hit the right one? It definitely hits an aggregate. And guess what? It's smart enough. It hits the product date, the date and product aggregate. So you don't have to do anything, right? Once you set your precedence, it'll check the first one, then it'll just keep going down uh, the line until it can find one that's a match and it'll use that aggregate. This is bananas. Are you guys using precedence when you configure your aggregates? You should definitely think about it, right? You have any questions, comments, you know what to do. Let's continue the conversation where? In the comments below. It's your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel. Hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.